All right, switching now to Maui, and the grim toll in the search of the ashes is growing. The death count of the catastrophic wildfires now stands at at least 111. So far, only nine of those victims have been identified. And while crews have been searching for days, they have still only searched about 38% of the burn zone. The number of unaccounted stands at just over 1,000 people now. People desperate to find missing loved ones are posting post-its at evacuation center asking for information in the hopes that somebody may have seen that person. More than a week after the fires, though, hopes are diminishing of finding them. And more are worrying as well about unscrupulous investors seeking opportunity in the ashes. Get this, real estate developers are looking to buy charred land on the cheap. Hawaii's governor is vowing to protect local residents from such ruthless land grabs. And for more on that part of the story, let's go to News Nation's Washington correspondent, Joe Khalil. Hey, Joe. Yeah, Elizabeth, you're absolutely right. This is now so pervasive, the governor is trying to step in and stop it. The state's Consumer Protection Agency also trying to stop it. But let's call this what it is. It's developers, it's companies trying to come in and take advantage and profit off of individuals, fire victims, at their most desperate and vulnerable point. They're really exploiting people's pain. They're exploiting a crisis. On top of having to rebuild their lives, homeowners in Lahaina who've lost everything to Maui's devastating wildfires now have something else to worry about. Developers trying to profit from their tragedy. It's so insensitive and just despi despicable. But um, they will offer you a hundred grand for, for your burnt land <laughs> um, is what I'm hearing. Maui realtor Ashley Correa says developers, mostly from outside of Maui, are offering desperate fire victims quick cash in exchange for their property. Hundreds of thousands less in some cases than what the property is actually worth. Hoping people who are strapped for money might say yes, rather than waiting for home insurance or FEMA to come through with a check. Some homeowners say they're getting multiple calls every day. Others tell us developers in person are aggressively trying to buy. They were approached um, at their home and asked if they wanted to sell it. We're going to make sure that there are no transactions that take advantage of our people. Governor Josh Green likened these developers to predators. People are right now traumatized. Please don't approach them with an offer to buy land. Please don't approach their families to tell them that they're going to be better off if they make a deal. Governor Green says he's instructing his state attorney general to explore a temporary pause on all land purchases, but he acknowledges the law may not be on their side. Legal support or housing support or unemployment benefits, all of these things, we want to make sure that people understand that those resources are there for them. Hawaii's emergency management agency says the best way to protect fire victims at their most desperate time is to keep them informed of the assistance available to them. Now, Elizabeth, this has happened before with other places like California and elsewhere that have had wildfires, but Maui is a particularly tough situation. It's such a beautiful place. The demand is really high for real estate there. And just to give you an idea, the average median home now in Maui is $1.3 million, but the salary there median is about $87,000 a year. So affordability is already tough let alone now this new challenge of developers trying to take advantage here. That could make the problem much worse. Thanks so much for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.